In this video, we're going to create this small wood that we're flying over right now. We're also going to use Vegetation Studio Pro to mask out some vegetation in the courtyard of this building here so that we don't have those grasses growing in the way. For both of these, we're going to use Vegetation Studio Pro, so uh, let's get to it. Here we can see the problem. We have grass inside of our uh, environment here where normally or in the previously Gaia didn't spawn grass here so let's fix that if by clicking on the house we go into the small farm which has been spawned that's the whole area that we have here and we can see that there is some areas here and around here that we don't want the grass to spawn and we definitely don't want the grass spawning so that it comes up the steps like this so how do we do that? It's really easy with Vegetation Studio Pro. You simply in, uh, create an empty object inside of here. We're going to call this Vegetation. And we're going to add a, if we search for Vegetation, we will find in there, there is this Vegetation Mask area. And we're going to use that. Now, by default, that will put it at 000 inside of this object. And Gaia does uh, a strange thing in that the parent object is always at 000, which is not where the actual building is. The building is over here. So I'm going to copy the coordinates of that and paste them into my new object here. Paste component value. So now I have the system here. So I'm going to look top down because it makes it a little easier for me. What we have is a boundary here and it currently has four points on it. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to move one point to the corner of the fence. I'm going to put it just a little bit inside the corner of the fence so that we get grass growing underneath the fence. And I'm going to take a very rough estimate of what we want our seem to look like now if we zoom in we will see we now have no grass inside of that area and it looks pretty good but not perfect so how do we add extra nodes to our um to our uh, exclusion area well it's easy insert node control click delete node control shift click so control click here drag our node out a little and well that side looks okay we definitely oops we definitely need some over here so control click drag that to say there control click um i think we might want to go underneath there let's have a look yep i think we want to go underneath there we're not going to do anything outside uh, later on we're going to use a thing called path creator and that will change the vegetation around here but for now um, we're not going to do that i think that looks pretty good Okay, so that's one thing we can do. Uh, we can actually provide a different biome for inside of there as well. Um, so let's look at how we might do that, but not, not in this specific area. What I want to do is over here, where our flock of birds are on the fly-through, we, we had a copse of trees here previously, um, and I'd like to bring that copse of trees back. Um, but in this case, uh, I want to use Vegetation Studio Pro to create an area here. So we're going to go in and uh, create a new object. I'm going to call this a small wood. And to do this, we're going to need a new biome. So what we'll do is we will first of all go into our VSP here create um, awesome technologies vegetation studio pro no textures and we now have a new biome we can call this small wood 
and add that into our Vegetation Studio Pro settings. So we need to go to the Biomes tab and drag that in here. And we need to set it as a Boreal Forest. Give it a name. Small Wood. Okay. And now we need to uh, give it some um, trees to work with. So select Edit Biomes. Make sure you've got the right biome that you're editing. And let's just drop a couple of trees in here. Um, nature Manufacturer. Trees. VS Prefabs. And let's drop... Oh, I've lost my Vegetation Studio, so let's lock that. Let's drop um, these tree, this tree to start with. We'll work backwards up the uh, up the list. Okay, uh, so we now have a tree in here, and that tree is going to be um, fairly dense. I don't want that one to be too dense because that's an older and more. Um, a less healthy tree. All right, so let's leave that as it is for the moment so we can just see it happening. So now we go back to our small wood object that we created earlier on. We want to go add component, and this time we're going to search for biome, and there's this biome mask area. And this allows us to create an area with a specific biome. So just as before, we have the um, markers for the edge of the biome here. Let's just go into the top view and drag these out a little. And what we can do is we can select what type of vegetation we want inside of this biome. So we do that by scrolling down and selecting the boreal forest biomes. And you'll see if we move in, it has excluded the grass from the area that that biome is marked up. So if I now go in and edit that biome, and for example, for that tree that I've put in, um, just for a moment, significantly increase the density, you can see we get trees inside of it. So let's set the biome boundaries to be something suitable. It needs to be, broadly speaking, um, around where the birds are going to be flying and just as before you can add extra points in so I'm just kind of randomizing the um, the lines don't want them to be too rigid okay so there we have uh, a, a, a forest um, now there's a couple of things going on here First of all, we only have one kind of tree, and it's an old and beginning to die tree. So we don't want that as being our only tree. The other thing is if you look down here, we have no grasses inside of here, so we can have different types of grass inside. And then there's this kind of fade area here. Um, so this goes, this is kind of an overlap. And what's happening is is these blend settings are affecting it. So the red line is the one that you're fading out. So it's the grassland out here. And the green line is the one that you're fading in. Um, you can also blend the textures, but we're not using textures on this at the moment. Um, so if I were to um, add a key here, say, and say, no, come in very quickly, you can see the change... There was a, you see there's a tree comes out there because we're coming in with this new vegetation quickly. Or I can add a key into the red one and say, no, drop out really quickly so don't give me any grass and so on. Um, and so you can control the way that these things merge into one another and it becomes a smoother flow between the two. Let's go back to our biome and edit our biome. So we have the small wood. We only have one tree in it at the moment. Let's add some nicer trees. Um, I forgot to lock, Put bring this expector up so I can see them. This one looks like a nice tree. I want to reduce the number of these trees significantly. Oops, wrong one. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, And then drop this tree in. OK. 
okay that looks okay let's just reduce the density a little bit and bring this tree in okay so we can fast forward over the video whilst i just fine tune this and we'll come back when i start doing the grasses in a moment So that's my trees done. If we zoom in, we see we have uh, a pretty nice setup. It's very dark in here now, uh, which is to be expected. It's a, a forest. Now, because it's dark, we would have different things growing in here. Um, so let's sort that out. Let's do the grasses. We can go to our grass models over here. Those last two look pretty good. Uh, and there'll certainly be a lot less of them. So let's drop this one in. Go to our grasses tab here. Um, that's perhaps a bit much. Let's drop that down. There we go. Some tufty grass. And let's drop this one in as well. And again. Drop the density down okay that's looking kind of nice i'll look over here where there's the light might be just a little because of the post-processing and the light that we have in this scene it's uh, a little too brown so we'll go and change the colors up a little bit but we do want it to be a little brown Now this is where you know an artist would really do a much better job than me. Um, I, I'm terrible with my colours, um, but uh, it's all right. I'm just knocking something together. Now there's some other things that are kind of nice for inside of here. Um, so for example, we could go find some uh, mushrooms. I believe there are mushrooms in here. Um, maybe a tree stump or two. A lovely little environment with mushrooms dotted around and tree trunks and so on and so forth. We have two methods now of changing how Vegetation Studio Pro um, creates our vegetation in the scene. The first one is to exclude all vegetation, which is what we did here on the house. The second one is to provide a different biome area, which is what we've done here with the forest. And this is what it looks like in the near final rendering of the video. Um, it looks great, I think you'll agree, but as we come over here, we will see that there are actually some animals in the yard of the um, house here. In fact, the pig there has escaped. Look at that. Um, so we're going to look at that pretty soon. We're also going to come back to Vegetation Studio Pro a little bit later to look at how we can change the vegetation around a river. Uh, and to do that, we're going to need to use river auto materials. So still lots to come in finalizing this video. Um, but for now, let's just watch the dragon fly away.